Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario from Birmingham, Alabama. Welcome to the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. I've just got my shipment of the new acoustic sounds. I believe this is the fourth shipment. Second video I'm doing in this series here on this shipment. I just did a video. If you haven't seen it already, go back and check out the one on Ray Charles. I'm going to be doing today Otis Redding Dock of the Bay. And the next one I'll do will be Alice Cooper welcome to my nightmare now i'm doing these reviews i buy these i'm a subscriber to this series so i pay once a month and i get number 282 numbered here on each of these i open these up right here uh in front of you and put them right on the 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 record player i spray them off and we take a first listen together so you what you experience is what i experience this is the first time hearing this record i really like this atlantic 75th anniversary i'll be talking about the album and uh, leave your comments please subscribe if you haven't already i'm doing all kinds of record reviews so hopefully i i buy all my own records no one sends anything to me i'm not a paid advertiser i just give you my honest opinion on what i think of the album sometimes i leave negative reviews um hopefully i get to leave positive reviews but at least it'll help you determine whether or not you want to purchase this record or if you're not already subscribed to the series you can buy these individually at acoustic sounds this is a 45 rpm uh cut this is was uh mastered by bernie grumman from the original analog tape this is a 1968 release of course otis redding i think died in december of 67 so this comes out after um of course the great hit dock of the bay is on here which i'm looking forward to it'll be the first song that comes up so we'll listen to it together i'm going to open this up together we're going to take a look at the packaging and it's all part of the fun for me and, and hopefully uh you guys out there can decide whether or not you want to purchase this so there's the uh let me show you the hype sticker there uh the songs on here were recorded between july 11th 1965 and uh, December 8th of 67. Again, he dies in a plane crash on December 10th. Very nice packaging. Uh, all these acoustic sound, 75th anniversary, Atlantic pressings have been, I would say probably the best pressings you're gonna get as far as quality of record and packaging thus far. I've not had any issues. We'll see. Hopefully the, the streak continues as I, I clean off this record and uh, Let's crack it open here. Really cool pictures. Let me go ahead and pull it out. And we're going to spray it off and uh, put it on the uh, RT85 with the Ortofon Blue. Again, going through my Yamaha HS8 speakers uh, using a Shipmani preamp. So let me go ahead and slide this out. It looks like it's the Volt label. And these are pretty clean records. I mean, I've taken them out before and putting them right on without even spraying them off. And they've been pristine. They're very clean. But just for the uh, just for the heck of it, I usually spray off all my uh, records anyways using an anti-static cloth. And uh, just to make sure there's nothing on them. And we're going to have a first listen together. I like doing these like this. Um, I think it's just the most transparent way to do it, especially with expensive records like this. They're 60 bucks, 45 RPM. Um, and I think just uh, doing a transparent, opening it up in front of you and dropping it on the, the turntable is the best review uh, that can be done. So um, let's put this on. This is a stereo recording. And the first song on here is going to be sitting on the dock of the bay. So we all know that one. Let's see how it sounds. Around 45 RPM. We've heard this song a million times, but how will it sound on this? I 
I've never heard this on an original pressing, so don't know how to compare it. So far, sounds good. I left my home in Georgia, headed for the Crystal So, I'll give you my first impressions here. It sounds pretty good. I hear a little bit of surface noise here and there. Nothing major, it's just a, a couple little pops there, but... It's not a very dynamic recording. Nothing to do with, with the pressing or anything. You know, I think the way it was recorded probably, in my opinion, wasn't the best. You know, with this, with the waves behind it and that kind of sound effect, I think kind of muddies things up a little bit for me. Um, nothing to do with the pressing. It's just how they recorded it. Um, let's listen to the next song and see what we get. So far, it's nothing. It's blown me away, but it sounds very good as far as how quiet it is. The vocals sound very good. It's a very mellow record. I've got something to tell you. You should know. I just could wait for not another day. I love you. Vocals sound really good on this. Got the strings there, the guitar. The horns sounds a little bit better now. I think I think with that dock of the bay song, you know, again with the ocean behind it and stuff like that, just probably I think muddies things up more than it probably should. That that's just part of the song how they recorded it. This to me, you get a little bit better. Really crisp guitar sound, the horns, sounds really nice. Warm vocals. Got 11 songs on this album. You've got a lot of great players on here. Of course, Otis Redding on the vocals. You got Booker T. Jones on keyboards and the piano. Isaac Hayes on keyboards, piano. Steve Cropper on guitar. Uh, Donald Dunn on bass guitar. Alan or Al Jackson Jr. on drums. Wayne Jackson on trumpet. Joe Arnold on tenor saxophone. And Carla Thomas assists on vocals on the song Tramp. So I think another good outing for the 75th anniversary, another quiet pressing. I'm going to go ahead and wait for this song to finish and I'm going to flip it over, get a little bit even further analysis of this because again, it's a very mellow record. So.
All right, so those are the first two songs. That's side one of that first record. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over if you want to stick with me. And uh, again, you're listening to it the first time as I am, so... Let me come on home. Yeah, there we go. Guitar sounds really good over here. Definitely another good outing for them. Again, the first impression on the song Doc in the Bay. Of course, we heard it, we've heard that song millions of times. On the record, it sounds good, but it certainly didn't blow me away at first because of the way they recorded that song with the waves and stuff behind it. I think they probably should have left all that out, in my opinion. However, it sounds really good. Getting into the second song, you really start to hear the clarity. And on this song here, let me come on home. We've got more the percussion, more things going on with the horns. Pretty flat. I got a little bit of uh, um, looking at the record. I have just a little bit of uh, a warp, but it's very, very slight. Nothing that affects the playing. Most of these have been absolutely flat. This one I can see just a tiny bit. Nothing affecting the playing, so I'm not going to nothing to complain about all right well happy listening out there guys thanks for joining me i'm going to be doing alice cooper welcome to my nightmare next that's going to be a completely different experience of course a rock album we had the ray charles now we've got this Dock of the Bay kind of mellow, pretty nice sounding album again. This is probably one of his most famous albums because it has the hit song Dock of the Bay on it. But um, Old Man Trouble is another one of my favorites. That's the last song on this. I'd be interested in hearing that. I like that tune. So uh, that's all I got. I'm going to let this next song start here, which is uh, I'm Coming Home. And I'm going to close it out. Happy listening to everybody. I like this one. I've been so wrong. If you're into Otis so Redding, I don't think you're going to go wrong with this. And you know what I'm talking about. We've all been wrong a time in our life. And we all make mistakes sometimes of leaving what's good for us. All right. Happy listening out there. Take care. We'll see you on the next video. Hit the like button if you like these videos. Any suggestions, leave in the comments. I appreciate it. Take care. killing me.